Hi, so mates. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Promoted Sandra. Here on my YouTube channel, I do cutting and sewing tutorials, pattern drafting, DIYs. If this is your first time here, thank you very much for stopping by. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on post notification so anytime I upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful underboss corset dress with a basque waist you are seeing on the screen. If this is something you are interested in, then keep up watching. These are the materials I'm going to be making use of. This is called Africa print, which is also known as Ankara. So I have about one yard of Africa print here, which I'm going to be using for the upper part of the dress. And this black material is called crepe. I have about two yards of crepe. You can make use of any color of your dress. The first thing I'm going to be doing is to go ahead and draft out the upper part of this dress on my pattern paper. So this part is going to be serving as a shoulder and I'm going to be taking my measurement from this side. So I'll go ahead and mark a straight line across like this. This line is going to be serving as the shoulder line, which is also known as the starter line. So I will place my tape on that shoulder line. I will mark my bust point, which is 11 inches. Still placing my tape on the shoulder line, I will mark my under bust, which is 14 inches. Then I'll go ahead and mark the waistline, which is 16 inches. I will repeat all the measurements on this other side of the pattern paper. Then I'll go ahead and connect the points together like this. So after I was done connecting the points, I will place my tape on the waistline, which is this line here. I will place my tape on the waistline like this. I will mark 6 inches downward. This 6 inches is going to be used for the basque around the front part of this dress. So I'll just go ahead and extend the points together like this. Please do not allow it to be more than 6 inches, okay? So I'll go ahead and label it bust point, under bust, waistline, and basque length. I will place my tape on the shoulder line like this. I will mark the wideness of the neckline. So I will just mark three and a half inches. Please, if you are on a smaller size, go ahead and mark three inches. Then I will place my tape on the shoulder like this. I will come down by eight inches for the V neck. So I will go ahead and connect the points together like this. Then I will go ahead and place my tape on the shoulder line. I will mark half of my shoulder measurement, which is eight inches. I will mark it like this. So from that point, I will come down by one inch for shoulder slope. Then I will just go ahead and connect it to the neckline like this. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to mark the wideness of my armhole. So to do that, I will go ahead and divide my armhole measurement by two. I will mark it. Another way to get your armhole measurement is to go ahead and divide your bust by six. Whatever you get, add 1.5 to it and mark it. So after I was done marking mine, I will go ahead and extend the line like this. I will just go ahead and label it chest line. So this is going to be the chest line. So I will place my tape on the chest line and mark half of my shoulder measurement. So I will go ahead and connect the points to the shoulder like this. Then I will place my tape on the armhole like this. I will fold it into two so that I can get the midpoint. So after folding it, I will mark the midpoint like this. So from that point, I will mark half inch inward, okay? So I'll just mark it like this. Then I'll come to the chest line. I will divide my bust by four. I will mark it. My bust is 14. 14 divided by four is 10. I'll mark 10 there. Then I'll go ahead and connect the three points together like this. After I was done with that, I will just come to the bust point line. On the bust point, I will mark half of my nipple to nipple measurement, which is 4.025. Then I will come to the hem. I will mark the same measurement. I will connect it together like this. Then I will place my tape on the shoulder like this. Just watch out where I am placing it. I will fold it into two, then mark the midpoint. So from that point, I will connect it to the bust point line like this. Then I will come to the waistline. I will mark half inch inward and half inch outward for that. So I will just mark half inch on both sides, just like as you can see me doing. So I will connect a slant line from the bust point to that half inch and from there to the hem. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to take the under bust tightening. 
So for the underbust tightening, I'm going to be make use of two inches. So I will divide the two inches by two, which is going to give me one. So you can also go ahead and fold your tape into two to get the right answer. So I will place my tape on the underbust. I will be taking the measurement from this line that I already have there. I will just mark one inch like this. Then I will come to this other side. I will mark one inch. Okay, just see how I am placing my tape and where I am taking the measurement from. But if your bust is on a smaller size, you can make it of one and a half inches. So I'll just go ahead and mark a straight line to the hem of the dress. I will mark it on the other side. Then I'll go ahead and connect from the bust point to the under bust like this. So after I was done connecting it, I'll just go ahead and blend the sharp edge like this. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to add my horizontal measurement. So for the chest line, I've already divided my bust by four and I marked it on the chest line. So I will come to the waistline. I will divide my waist measurement by four. I will mark it on the waistline. Then I will come to the hip line. I will divide my hip measurement by four. I will mark it on the hip line like this. Then I'll go ahead and connect the three points together. After I was done marking it, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to take my side that. So take your side that you are going to measure from your shoulder to your waist measurement at the front, minus your shoulder to your waist measurement at the back. For me, from my shoulder to my waist measurement at the front is 16 inches, and for the back is 14 inches. So 16 minus 14 is 2. So I'm just going to place my tape on this bust point line. I will mark 2 inches downward like this. From the bust point, I will connect it to meet the 2 inches I mark downward. So I'll also connect it outside the pattern like this, okay? So I'll just mark out this part because I'm going to be cutting it out. I will cut this side of my pattern paper open like this. I will come to the shoulder, I will just cut out this part close to the bust point. Can you see what I'm doing? Then I'll come to this side, I will cut out this side close to the bust point. Please don't cut out everything. Then I'll just lift up the pattern paper like this and close the side that like this. I will use my seal tape to seal it down. I will come to the under bust line, which is this line here. I will place my tape on it. I will mark three inches upward like this. Then I'll go ahead and use my French cuff to connect a curve line from that three inches point to the under bust like this. I will also go ahead and connect the other side from here to here. So just watch out how I am placing my French curve. Okay, in case you don't understand what I'm saying, just watch what I'm doing, you understand. I will come to the shoulder line. I will mark 0 0.25 inches inward on both sides. So this is also known as quarter inch. Just go ahead and mark quarter inch on both sides. Then I will connect it to the bust point like this. This is just to give it extra tightening around the chest line. I will just go ahead and mark this part because I'm going to be cutting it out. So I'll do the same thing for the other side. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to replace all the darts and also add my sewing allowance. I will measure the dart I took around the chest line. I will come to the chest line here. I will replace it. Then I will come to the waist line. I will measure what I took. I will replace it. Then I will do the same thing for the hip line. Before I connect the points together, I will come to the shoulder. Remember, I took 0 0.25 inches on both sides, so I will plus it together. What I have is half inch. I will come to the shoulder. I will mark the half inch like this. I will connect it to the chest line. So before I do that, I will just go ahead and extend the shoulder like this. Then I will go ahead and connect it. Just watch out and see how I am connecting this. This is very, very important. If you do not replace your shoulder darts, or tightening you are going to have a shortage on your armhole okay so it's going to be shorter or yes it's going to be shorter than the original uh, measurement so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to go ahead and connect the sides together like this after connecting it i will just extend this uh, curve here from the under bust to the side so after extending it i will extend the armhole area like this so the next thing I'm going to be doing is to go ahead and cut it out. Please just watch out the part I am cutting out. After I was done cutting it out, I will just go ahead and place the two pattern paper together like this. 
just make sure the under busts are both meeting each other just like as you can see me doing then i'll place my ruler on the waistline i will mark a slant line from the waistline to the hem of the dress at the front like this can you see it i will just go ahead and cut it out just like as you can see me doing so after i was done cutting it i will cut the under bust like this after i was done cutting it out i will just go ahead and arrange it like this then i will use my seal tape to seal the down part together like this i don't want to cut out two pieces of my fabric so with this i'll be able to cut out just one pieces then i'll go ahead and label the two pieces at the top this one is one and this one is two so this is just me using an arrow to indicate um both of them so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to draft the back so for the back i'm going to be very fast because whatever i'm going to be doing for the back is what we already did for the front so first of all i went ahead to mark one and a half inch in on my pattern paper which is going to be serving as the zipper allowance then i'll just go ahead and mark the shoulder line the bust point and the waistline so from my shoulder to my waistline at the back is 14 inches i will connect all the points together so for the neck depth for the back i will be marking one inch downward just like as you can see me doing for the wideness i'm going to be marking three and a half inches because that was what i marked for the front so i'll go ahead and connect it like this then i'll mark the shoulder slope remember i came down by one inch at the front so whatever i did for the front is what i'm just repeating for the back nothing else just a little bit different so i'll just go ahead and connect the armhole for the back for the back armhole you don't need to mark half inch inward just like what we did for the front i will bring the front armhole like this i will place it on the back armhole okay on the back pattern paper the armhole then i will mark this point at the back then i will remove the front i will extend the line to the uh, center back like this i will just go ahead and use my marker so that it will be bold then i will just go ahead and connect the chest line to that point then i will connect from the chest line to the waistline like this so on the waistline i will place my tape on the waistline uh, here like this on the center i will mark half inch towards the zip allowance then i will just extend the neckline to the zip allowance i will mark a slant line to that half inch i marked this is to remove zip bulge on your dress okay so i will just go ahead and cut it out just like as you can see me doing please pay attention and see the part i'm cutting out so if you check this pattern for the back you are going to see that i did not add that to the back so i'm not going to be adding that to the back of this dress so if you want to add to your own you can go ahead and add i will just go ahead and label it this is the back and i'm going to be cutting out this part i'm going to be joining it so the upper part i'm going to be using ankara and the down part i'm going to be using the black material so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to go ahead and cut it out on my fabric so this is my fabric i will just go ahead and fold it into two and give it a very good press after folding it this is the front part okay this is the center front i will place it on this side that is closed then i will just pin it down i will also go ahead and add the journey allowance before i cut it out at the shoulder i will add half inch at the v neckline at the front i will add half inch so basically i'm just adding half inch round for journey allowance okay i am doing this for the sake of those that are new if not i would have just go ahead and cut it out i know what to do so make sure you add your journey allowance and i also did the same thing for the side front so at the side i added one inch for sewing allowance then i will just go ahead and cut it out please don't forget to add your sewing allowance okay at the side of your um, dress i have gone ahead to cut it out and this is how it look like i also went ahead to cut out the down and also the back the next thing i'm going to be doing is to cut out the skirt part which is the down so i'm going to be using the face because this the face is going to be as the lining so i've gone ahead to fold it into two then i'll go ahead and fold it into two again like this this time i'm not going to make it equal okay so the down part is going to be wider than the upper part so i'll just go ahead and iron it down after ironing it i will mark a straight line across like this this line is going to be serving as the waistline okay so this part that is closed is where i'm going to be taking on my measurements from because this upper part is the is for the front part of our dress so i'll place my tape on the waistline i will divide my waist by four i will mark it then i'll place my tape on the waistline i will mark my hip point which is ten and a half inches some people own are nine inches some people own are eight inches 
just know your own and mark it then i'll place my tape like this on the waistline can you see how i am extending my tape i will minus my half length which is from my shoulder to my waistline so from my shoulder to my waistline is 16 inches i will minus that 16 inches on my tape and mark the full length of the gun on the skirt part okay that part did not show okay just go ahead and mark it on your own so i'll place my tape on the waistline i will minus my half length and mark my knee length okay so after marking my knee length i'll just go ahead and extend the line like this so i'll go ahead and position my camera so that you guys can see all the lines so i'll go ahead and label it this is the waistline the hip line the knee line and also the full length line so i'll come to the waistline i will divide my waist by four i will mark it I will divide my hip by four. I will mark it. Then I will minus two inches from my hip. Whatever that is left, I will divide it into four. I will mark it on the knee line. Whatever I mark on the knee line, I will mark it on the hemline. So do the same thing for yourself. Then I will come to the waistline. I will be adding one inch for sewing allowance around the waistline. Okay, I will just mark it like this. Then I will add one inch for that allowance. So on the hip line, I will add one inch for joining allowance then for the knee line i will not be adding anything for the front i'm not going to be adding that to it okay i'm only going to be adding that to the back so i'll just go ahead and connect from the hip line to that one inch i added for allowance this is going to be for the front then i'll go ahead and connect the other line from the hip line to the that allowance okay that i added so this one is going to be for the back so i have two lines there then I will just go ahead and connect from the hip line to the knee line. And I will just blend the hip line. Then from the knee line, I will connect it to the full length. Then I will come to the zipper allowance. I will mark one inch, okay? I just want to add one inch for the zipper allowance. I will connect the points together like this. So I will still come to the waistline. I will mark from the center front to... I will mark half inch to the back like this. I will mark a slant line from that half inch to any part added down okay then i'll just go ahead and cut out the waistline when cutting out the waistline please add half inch for journey allowance i did the same thing then i'll cut out the side and the down so i'll go ahead and remove the up then i'll go ahead and cut out this extra one inch okay for the that because i'm not going to be adding that to the front i hope you guys understand so i've gone ahead to use the lining to cut out on my fabric on my fabric i extended the length by two inches that two inches is going to be serve as the foldy allowance then i'll go ahead and cut out the design at the side so as you can see i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into four both the back and the front just like what i did for the lining okay so i'll place my tape on the waistline i will mark six inches downward this six inches is for the basque waist just like what i did for the upper part from that basque waistline i'll mark 10 inches downward then i'll connect the points and cut it out so from this basque waistline i'll come down by two inches then i'll just mark a slant line from that two inches i mark from the center front to the side like this then i'll go ahead and cut it out so guys in case you have any question go to the comment section and ask me and don't forget to like this video and comment on it this really helped my algorithm a lot so i'm going to be seeing you guys on my next video bye